That's Old it. men forget. We're done. Yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Oh, Lord, then shall been. our names familiar in their mouths as household words. Dave the King, College Station in Austin, Lubbock and Waco, Houston and San Marcos. Be in their flowing cups freshly mem- remembered. This story shall a good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we shall be remembered in it. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that bets with me shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile. Oh, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in Texas, now abed, shall think themselves accursed they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks, that bet with us upon free money! That was the The glorious worst. return that of was free money. That was absolutely terrible. It was Henry V. You leave Henry V alone. Yeah, ugh. For the St. Christmas That Day made speech. it... That made the welcome whole into thing free even money. Worse. Welcome into free money. Uh, our college, my college football picks against the spread, and that was so bad. <laughs> look, I hated all of that. You should really see Henry V. Henry V. Is great. <laughs> Last year, sixty-two, fifty-three, and four. The year before, sixty-eight, sixty-five, and three. So I'm you got trendy. worse. No, I got 60. better. 68, 65, and 3. I was only three games above 500 two years ago. I was nine games above 500 last year. Well, let's. So trending upward. No, it's. Trending uh, positively. You hate to see it. We have three games this week. There's going to be fewer games, which means that the margins are going to be. Margin for error is going to be like this is going to be. We're turning up the, the, um, the, the difficulty here. But we have three games this week. The first three college football games. Uh, in the state of Texas, happening oh on Saturday. We're, go- we're, go- we're going for 0-3. How are we starting Pickle? We are starting with the first college football game in the state of Texas. It'll be SMU at Texas State, 3.30 p.m. on Saturday. SMU rolling into San Marcos, favored by 22. Yeah, so this is our first look at Brady McBride, Texas State quarterback. And that's going to be fun. Um, I'm interested to see what the Texas State offense, which was stuck in the mud last year, Mm -hmm. um, 121st in the nation total offense, what they look like with a new quarterback that there we've heard really good things about. We know from his high school days that he's really talented. Okay. There, there's that. Um, I think the receiving core for Texas State's pretty good. A lot of this comes down to whether or not Texas State is going to score because here's what's going to happen when SMU has the ball. Okay, is SMU going to score? SMU is going to score a fair amount. Like I, if 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 Texas State is going to win this game, they're going to have to outgun SMU, and it's going to have to be like, oh, Brady McBride's a revelation, and mm-hmm. they're able to get things done. Here's the problem, and here's why I'm taking SMU minus twenty two. Okay, the problem is that I think SMU's pass rush has a chance to be hellacious, mm-hmm. and I think Texas State's offensive line, which has struggled with inconsistency. I wonder if they're going to be able to protect Brady McBride enough to let that offense cook. That's why I think I'm looking at something along the lines of 48-20, something like that. 48-20, 45-21, something like that. I think it's close to there, but I think SMU rolls. I think I like SMU minus 22 in this one, even on the road. Um, I just think that they're a more polished product. I think Shane Bouchelle is going to be able to carve things up. Um, I like SMU in this one, uh, minus 22. And I, I hate I hate going and taking a, a road double-digit favorite, but I think that this warrants it. So I'm going to take SMU minus 22 in the first game. That game's on ESPN, big boy ESPN. So you can turn that on on Saturday. What's next, Pickle? Up next for the second slate, it is Houston Baptist at North Texas, 6.30 p.m. on a Saturday at Apogee Stadium, and there is no line. So this is Between one of this two. is one of three games that Houston Baptist is going to play this year, and look, they have. If you're unfamiliar with Houston Baptist, very team that I think could have some success throwing the ball. North Texas is secondary. Last year was not great. Mm-mm. This year figures to be about the same, maybe a little better, but like they're not going to go from that to being like 2007 LSU. You know what I mean? They're going to be like the, the the secondary. I don't think you can expect a, a big leap in there. 
Uh, they but Houston Baptist has Bailey Zappi. Mm-hmm. They have uh, Ben Ratzlaff back and Jareth Stearns back. Houston Baptist has a little something. Mm-hmm. But the defense is bad. Yes. Defense is quite bad. And now, look, it's not like North Texas is going to, like, is going to light it up offensively. We don't know, right? They have not named their they quarterback They haven't named the quarterback. Yet. We don't know if it's going to be J- uh, Jason Bean or Austin Ani. Mm-hmm. Those appear to be the two finalists for yeah. the job. Um, they're probably both going to get some run in this game. Oh, absolutely. Um, look, I'm glad there's no line because I don't know how much. There's too many unknowns to go out there and predict that, uh, like what the score is going to be. I think this could be kind of shootouty. I think it could be a high-scoring game. Ultimately, North Texas is going to win. So I'll take North Texas in this one. Because they're at home, because they're an FBS team over an FCS team. Um, they just have better depth. They have, you know, all these things. North Texas should win this game. North Texas is going to win this game. But this could get pointsy. This could get high scoring. Um, I don't know. And, and Especially beyond, once you start putting those backup <clears throat> defenders in to here, get them some work. And here's another thing. And here's another kind of weird wrinkle. We mentioned Houston Baptist is playing three games this year. Okay? Mm-hmm. Nothing to lose. I was six to say, yeah, they're going to go all out. <laughs> let it rip. Everything you've got. All the trick plays, everything you've got, mm-hmm. let it rip. If this game's close into the fourth quarter, it could get really interesting. Mm-hmm. But in the end, I'm going to take North Texas to win. I like North Texas. Let's go something like 46-28. Something right. like that. 48-28, something like that. I don't know. I think, But North Texas wins. I like North Texas. And finally, Pickle. Finally, for the third and final game here in the great state of Texas, we've got Stephen F. Austin at UTEP, 8 p.m. Saturday. And again, one with no line. Whew. This is fun. I'm, I'm like, is this it is weird that I'm like super, probably most excited for this game? This is the game <laughs> I am most conflicted on like i am pumped for this game it could be an absolute dumpster fire Um, or kind of good so (laughs) man i don't know this game's tough this game's real tough to call because i wish there was a line on this one because look i don't (laughs) think yeah because look i don't i'll be honest i don't think stephen f austin is like a world beater fcs team i really don't I think they are a team that has a couple of pieces that are nice. But UTEP, UTEP's really bad. Like, UTEP's very bad. Um, and the secondary, I think, for um, UTEP, oh, I'm sorry, for SFA, is decent. Mm-hmm. I think it's decent. And furthermore, like, what does UTEP do well? Like, what are we confident that UTEP is going to do well in this game? Like, not much. Like, I don't know. <laughs> here is here is the advantages for UTEP in this game. They are at home. That is a long trip. Long that trip. That is a very, very, okay. wow, yeah. Nacogdoches to, uh, to El, El Paso. Paso. That's about the longest trip you can do in the state of Texas. Say. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's a long trip. And they're an FBS program. That's about it as far as advantages are concerned. I will say this. I think this game is too close for comfort for UTEP. I think it's too close for comfort, but I think they do win. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on the limb and take the FCS over the FBS. I, I I'm gonna the, the the chalky pick is to take FBS over FCS. But there's a lot of reason to think SFA could win this game. Very conflicted in this game. I am gonna take UTEP. I'm going to take UTEP to win. I think it might be ugly. Mm -hmm. And I think they might, it might come out feeling like a loss. (laughs) But I think UTEP's going to win. I like UTEP in a, in a, in a, in in single digits. Let's put it that way. I don't think they win by 10. If you were wondering, it's right at 800 miles. So 11 hours and 38 minutes. And you've got to know that they're doing that on a bus too, which is going to just add That's, I think, to that. I think that if this game, I'll be, I'll be honest. If this game were in Nacogdoches, I might take SFA, but I'm going to take UTEP. I think they're able to put it together. I think that the, um, 
I think that they're going to be able to – I think the biggest thing is that, that they are going to have an advantage in the trenches. Mm-hmm. The offensive line and the defensive line are going to be just better than SFA, and that is going to be the difference. I like UTEP in a close one, but keep an eye on this one. This is maybe the most exciting game of the weekend. I think sense. it is. <laughs> so those are my free money picks for week one of the college football season. I like SMU minus 22 at Texas State. I like North Texas outright against Houston Baptist, and I like UTEP – all right, against SFA. <laughs> so there it is, free 